All right, Moronic Monday. Boneless chicken wings can have bones, the Ohio Supreme Court has now ruled. In a notable decision, the Ohio Supreme Court ruled that boneless chicken wings are not guaranteed to be bone free. The four to three verdict came in a response to a lawsuit filed by Michael Berkheimer, who sued a restaurant and its chicken suppliers after swallowing a bone in 2017. Oh my God, get over yourself. At least you knew it was real chicken. I mean, it was a bone, boo. Like, just eat. It's fine. It's probably like bone broth. Go that way. Berkheimer, a regular at Chicken Wings on Brockwood in Hamilton, Ohio, fell ill after a meal in 2016 and found to have a bone lodged in his esophagus. Okay, now we have an issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. The incident led to a severe infection and two surgeries. Damn. Yeah, that was real. Yeah, this is a moment here. Uh, The lawsuit claimed that negligence on the part of the restaurant and suppliers for not warning that boneless wings still could taint could, could contain bones kind of like the mcdonald's and the hot uh, coffee they got to have that on the thing now yeah so uh however uh this has gone on and on and the uh the the ruling again four to three verdict came in response to the lawsuit uh that uh yeah this guy won uh won the lawsuit this is pretty incredible what do you think? Well, t- today is National Chicken Wing Day. Oh, well, thank so you, Blake, for this story. <laughs> yeah, so it's National Chicken Wing Day. Um, no, I, I, I mean, what if it was a kid? I mean, you get, you get boneless chicken wings for kids, and, and that happens to a kid. I mean, it, that's not safe. I, uh, but, I mean, it, it's, it, it's going to happen. I don't know. I, it's going to happen. So, I mean, I'm, I'm glad he got at least his medical bills covered. I mean, but, you know, I don't, I don't know how you can avoid that. I'm with Kelly. Like, are we not chewing? Are we just inhaling? Like, ugh. and I, I want to talk about like how boneless chicken wings are actually made. So we probably parts is parts. Oh, right. And it's just coagulated together just and then kind of panko fried and then call it a wing and a prayer. Like, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, and, and, uh, you know, chicken tenders come from the, the chicken breasts and the tenderloins and mm-hmm. then it's breaded and, you right. know, so I mean, Bristle. and, and, and like, I mean, <laughs> the better, the better. Boneless chicken wings are, are made the same way. They're just chopped up into sections. Yeah. Um, but, you know. Have you ever, do you order them on menu or you go for like regular wings with bone in? I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a traditional. Me too. Um, but uh, I, I do like a good tender. I like yeah. a good chicken tender. So, I, you know, I'm. So, is a chicken tender different than a boneless wing? Yes. Yeah. Because okay. that's the whole tenderloin. Okay. That's like a, a part of the breast and that's the whole tenderloin. Okay. Um, you know, when you do boneless chicken wings, you have a chance of just getting a nugget. Yeah. And usually that's what they look like. They just look like a nugget. Right. And, and the nugget is like the the meat's kind of compressed together. It's like having it's like would you want your house made of wood or pressed wood? Or you know, yeah, it, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's pressed chicken is what it, it is. Exactly. You know. Rick, what do you have uh specialty on this? I'm bone in. Oh. I'm a traditional too. I'm a traditional. Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. 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 Are you uh uh are you flats or drums? Ooh, I like flats. flats. I like them both, to be honest. They both have a different experience. I mean, I love to be savage with wings. I won't order flats only, like I've seen some people do. But yeah, I prefer the flats. Yeah. Oh, I don't eat them in public. I have to eat them privately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a monster when it comes to these. Yeah, I'm a I'm, I'm a I'm a flats too, and and eating chicken wings with this beard is. Yeah, I can never, believe it. Yeah. I feel your pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's never it's never pretty. <laughs> what do you guys do? Do you like tape it back? Like how do you deal with that? No, you just kind of open uh, up savage. the area, you know. But I mean I trim around my I there's guys that don't trim yeah, I don't. around never cut around it and my hair and, or my beard. So you're eating half your beard and fiber. I, I've, I've never <laughs> a little something for later. Oh yeah. my goodness. So I mean like I'm 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 a guy with a, a big beard, but you can see my lips. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I, but also, your most important question, though, about wings. Do you do ranch or blue cheese? Yeah, blue it. cheese. Ranch all the way. I'm ranch. Oh. Blue. Blue. I like both, though, but I'm more ranch. Heartbreak I'm, Hotel. I'm blue, I'm blue cheese. You're, yeah, you got to have some. Some blue cheese is sketchy to me. I'm really? Blue, yeah, ranch is always consistent. I mean, so. if you really want to dive into blue cheese, it is pretty sketch, but it's mm. awesome. <laughs> it's, it's more the texture than the taste Ooh. to me. But. <laughs> uh, Fancy mold. No, no it, Celery, too. Celery is good. God bless. Clean yeah. my teeth out. And I prefer my, I prefer my own wings over yeah other store bought wings yeah 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 his wings are the best you yeah. Have. Yeah. really yeah. I, I Which, prefer my is there wings. something specific that you're doing with them um air frying them. i air fry i yeah. air fry them and then if i do deep fry them uh you know i i use mm-hmm. a, a batter with 
uh, a little kick to it. Nice, good. Like daddle. Mm-hmm. My okay. buddy was a chef, a Michelin star chef, and he cooked at the uh, culinary outfitters for a little bit while mm-hmm. I was going. Bro. And they had the best wings oh, I've ever tasted. I do remember in those my wings. Life. I remember those they wings. Were smoked for a little bit and then fried for a little bit and whatever season they did. Shout out Chris Sullivan, chef that God, we up over there. So good. Legendary I remember wings. them. Yeah, they were yeah, legendary. Have you guys ever had the peanut butter and jelly wings from Trailer Park yet? No. Okay, that so amazing. Trailer Park is this, uh, there's one in Nocatee and there's one downtown now. Yeah, and so they Spanish take Street. like these like kind of redneck gourmet ideas and like remix them to make them interesting. Like a fried nice. bologna and cheese sandwich. Amazing. Like All honestly, right. yeah, freaking it. amazing. Yep. So mm-hmm. they have these wings called peanut butter and jelly wings. Yeah. And it sounds Awful, but it's so like no, sweet and savory. Yes. Oh my god, mm-hmm. it's so good! Just like the burger with peanut butter on it, so right? Go yeah. away from that, but it's a good combination, right? Yeah, no, no. And, and the menu they have at Pot of Eater is not the same menu they have here. Get out of Dodge, I didn't know yeah. that. So, I, I mean, I'm not sure. There's a couple items on the Pot of Eater one, that, and uh, the one in Savannah is, is the marquee is the one, trailer, yeah. trailer park that I'd I, love I to really, talk to them. I'm yeah. sure that's a cool story, like how they got the concept and where they grew up. I think that's that's probably some underlining that would be kind of fun. Yeah, they do uh, pop trivia there on Monday nights. Oh, yeah, right. Pop trivia. That could be something I'm actually good at yeah. in this town. Yeah, you, you're <laughs> much better at that than I am. Yeah. Speaking of pop trivia, mm-hmm. Celine Dion. 